The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour. Brought to you by Nadex. Call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Welcome, folks. We appreciate your growling and prowling with us out here. Right now, we have the Dow Industrials uh, flat. NASDAQ is up 40. S&Ps are up 350. We have the uh, gold contract that's slamming gold. That's down $9.70 trading at 12.68. It was just down uh, 7 bucks. Uh, silver's down 23 cents, $16.14 an ounce. We have the uh, copper market. Ooh, look at that. Uh, yeah, down 11 cents, 2.95 a pound. You got light sweet crude flat, $57.47. What day is today? Tuesday. Today is Tuesday. So we get uh, API after the close. Yes. Okay. Uh, notes and bonds. We get the 10-year note uh, down three ticks, 124.05. 30-year bond up three ticks, 153.04. King dollar. King dollar is up 121 ticks, 92.980. The euro is at 118 and a quarter to the U.S. dollar. The yen is out here at 112 and three quarters to the U.S. dollar. Uh, our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Let's go over first to the uh, Dow. First day the Dow's been uh, not up 200 points uh, <laughs> and see what's uh, going on inside the Dow. So, uh, oh, there it is. That's interesting. Good old Goldman, though. So Goldman's putting a negative into the Dow today, 16 negative points. you got Home Depot putting nine, Disney's putting nine, IBM's putting nine, Boeing's putting six. Positive, uh, Big Mac is putting 17. Positive points, United Health eight. Visa is putting seven. Let me just go to Goldman because they, that $250, and I think 47 cents is the uh, number to keep your eye on here. That was the test, 250.70. That's the number. On a monthly basis, it failed. And that failure uh, was a big differential when you're talking volume. We're talking, I gotta put it on a monthly, oh, that ain't it. That ain't it either, hold on one second. That's not right. I know, it couldn't have been, it was 54 million, I believe. Something's wrong there. That's, that's 90 million. Well, I don't know, let me pull this again. 10 years, no, nope, it's 15 years, because it's, it's exactly 10 years ago that it hit. So, yeah, that's 90 million versus 12. <laughs> that doesn't even, that's, that's intense. So, that's something you're gonna wanna keep your eye on. Inside the NDX 100, the strength versus the weakness out here. Uh, strength out here today is Micron, that's up 4.4. That's after getting actually toasted the last few days. Let me see what this looks like, yeah. So, Micron is down from uh, 49 bucks. I hit a low yesterday of 39, you get a nice counter trend bounce going on, buck 70, that's not the end of the world. The uh, Fox, it looks like uh, they're getting closer to selling uh, Disney, the studio. Uh, INCY is up 3%, uh, but that's been a dog too. Uh, coming to, uh, downtown D Discovery, is down 3.7%. What is this? Henry Schein is down 1.5. Uh, Express Scripts is off 1.3. Nothing big there. Um, did you see yeah, Facebook is uh, starting now a, a service for six-year-olds? Okay, I did not. I'm pretty intense, man. So they're starting, uh, this is, <laughs> they're gonna get right into Facebook, hope social good, uh, no, mm -hmm. Facebook has no, uh, maybe scroll down a little. We're yeah. only until about 6 in the morning, okay. so if you read it before 6 in the morning, it might be. Yeah, they're starting to set sites on kids with new messenger app. That was, is that yesterday? That's IBD, but that is okay. going to be the story probably. So they're setting up something like uh, Snapchat with, you know, the parents can basically, you know. So let's read it. Yeah. Trading cautiously into the field of kids and social media, Facebook on Monday unveiled a new messaging app for children with parental controls based on its messenger platform, which about 1.2 billion users, which has about 1.2 billion users. 
Messenger Kids will be available for use on Apple smartphones and tablets and can be monitored and controlled from a parent's Facebook account. So I wonder how that goes into uh, kids versus who's, what children are me Facebook spent more than 18 months working closely with leading child development experts and educators. I wonder, I wonder what six-year-olds are using messaging apps. <laughs> yeah, know? right. No, I, it's, it's, you know, when you, when you take a look at it, it's, it's going to be intriguing in the aspect of they get it going, and once, once of course, uh, yes. He's with us. Let's, let's get over to our man, Mr. Kevin Hinks at TD Ameritrade Think or Swim. And don't forget, folks, every trading day right here at TFNN, 12, 11 to 12 Eastern Standard Time. Now, no matter where you listen, just jump on your cell phone. You go to TFNN.com. You hit Tiger TV. Gonna, you want to understand the option market upside down, the futures market. Great show. Uh, great strategies. Kevin Hinks, what's going on? Good morning, Tom. Good morning, Tommy. How are we doing? Good morning, Kevin. We're doing good, man. I mean, you know, we get volatility out here. Uh, you get markets that are moving. Uh, with, <laughs> I mean, the NDX 100 yesterday, man, what, it moved 120 points, and we just we just moved uh, 55 points. <laughs> and about yeah, we, 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 we were talking about this this morning on the future show with Ben, and I, I really think day three of a rotation like this is always an important day, right? So you saw the Nasdaq open lower and then fire higher right off the off the open. So. I, I, it'll be really interesting what the Nasdaq versus the Dow does, you know, on day three of this this huge ro rotation that that we've had the last few days. Yeah, listen, there's no doubt, man. I mean, because what what does happen, folks, and this is where it, it's you know, when you get fast moves like this, most of the time, these moves won't calm down. You know, you know, you, you as I said, it's the third day. Most times when this thing comes in, you know, we're going to have three or four weeks of that, this type of volatility. That, like, what just happened? Sure. You know, you're up 200, you're down 200, you're up 200, and uh, we'll see where the whole thing shakes out at the end of the day. Yeah, it's going to be fun. I mean, I, it, I'll tell you what, with all the news coming out, so much for the boring holiday markets end of the year. I think we're going to be rocking here for a couple weeks. Oh, listen, there's no doubt. And, you know, the wild card here, folks, uh, inside the tax bill has to do with evidently they made a mistake. I mean, that's how, that's how the, it seems that that's how the press is coming out, right? That's how the, you know, that they, they kept the ATM in. Corbin AMT. Yeah, yeah, the AMT, and so that the tech companies are going to, you know, basically not get what they thought they were getting. You know? Right. But so you got to think, though, Tom and Tommy, that the lobbyists for these firms are working the phones because I, I, I really am waiting for the shoe to drop on this and say, oh, no, 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 the AMT is out. Yeah, no, I, I think the way that I've read it, that I, it, it seems like it was ma it made a mistake, but you never know politically, do you know what I mean? Right. That's, exactly. I, I agree, man, do you know what I mean? Because if that is in, you know, no one's going to save any money. Cause, right. You know, right. You, you, I, I think I, w I would watch the headlines very closely for the evolution of this discussion on, on the AMT, because I, uh, I think it could hurt you know, research and development. It's how they depreciate things. It's, it's kind of a big deal for, for the tech company. And it, it, it's almost a big deal for everyone, because it's, it, I mean, it, it hits most people. Do you know right. what I mean? It's a right. corporate, though, AMT. So, not the personal one? No. Okay. Yeah. okay. Folks, right here, 45 minutes from now, go to TFNN.com, hit Tiger TV. You're going to get some great option strategies, future strategies. Kevin, thanks so much. You have a great one, a safe one. We look forward to the show in 45 minutes. Thanks for having me, guys. Thanks, Kevin. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I come right back. Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under 
trading newsletters. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning, where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you'll lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Techno Mental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated folic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. We take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow Industrials are down eight. You get the NASDAQ up 37. S&Ps are up three and a half. And folks, if you haven't test drove the Nadex platform, come over to our website at TFNN. Hit the banner, bring it up. You can walk along with us as we trade these defined option contracts. Uh, and in this type of volatility, um, you want some defined uh, uh, risk. Let's go to uh, Max in Fort Lauderdale. Hey, Max, what's going on? Good, good morning, guys. Morning, Max. Uh, how, how you doing? Fine. What's the symbol going to be for Bitcoin uh, under the futures? Uh, and I don't have any, any idea yet. Okay. Okay. More than likely, uh, they got, they'll have two different symbols because uh, the CBOE starts Sunday night, and we'll check it out in the CBOE site, CBOE site and see if they got a symbol yet, and the uh, CME starts on December 18th. CME might have to do something with the XBT, which is how Bloomberg categorizes it. I remember reading possibly something, but I forget. Okay. Thank you, guys. Okay, man. Uh, okay, man. Have a great one. Have a safe one. So if we go over to Bitcoin right now, uh, 11,864 was the number this morning. And right now we're at uh, 11,794. Is that a new high from yesterday? It's yesterday. 11,864. 11.845 was the high yesterday. So, yeah, that's yep. a new high. And let's just go to this one here, that investment trust, because yesterday that investment trust had, well, this, this is, had a, a premium of, yeah, see, this, is, this gets interesting. This premium yesterday was 94% when I was talking about it. It's 77% today. And my take on it is that this is where this is the this is one of the most dangerous stocks in the universe because of Bitcoin, folks, because it's not an ETF. It's a unit trust. And the objective is, you know, that it's going to keep its net asset value for the Bitcoin market. But bottom line, it hasn't been able to and it hasn't been able to because it's not like an ETF that they can make shares and destroy shares. So they have so many units. People have been buying them, but this is going to come back to the mean. The real question is, how long is it going to take to come back to the mean? Yeah, I just you know? really don't understand this. I just I feel like there's a fundamental aspect that's way out of whack, like you keep saying. Um, 
I just don't understand it. Right. No, no that, it, well, the fundamental aspect is out of whack. That's, that's why the larger players are going to hedge around it. Because if you believe markets will go back to mean, in this case, they really got it made because you, you get, yesterday was a 90 something percent premium, today's a 77. Even, I've seen the, the, the pipelines, they stayed at like a 14 percent premium for a couple of years. Um, the oil pipelines? Yes, talking about? exactly. That, and, and then they crashed. <laughs> Literally <laughs> crashed, okay? Um, but it makes zero sense that you're going to buy something and you can buy the exact same thing for half the price in the Bitcoin market. So that'll change. Um, and the futures, I think, they, I think what we're going to see is that the futures are going to uh, make this market a lot more efficient than people uh, really understand. Like there was a question uh, out here this morning was, uh, what happens if the uh, futures go limit down and yet the market itself, the Bitcoin market, keeps going higher? Uh, it keeps going down? Uh, well, no, they, their question was it keeps going higher versus... If it's limit down, though. I, I understand that. Okay. I understand. That, and it, then it, it rebounds, not keeps going higher, is that what and that's, it pops? That's okay. in the other market. Um, those types of movements uh, are almost impossible, meaning that if you go limit down, that everything else is going to go up. Because if it does, those people are going to get killed. And what re really might, might happen is that the amount of people that are in the Bitcoin market that haven't been in the trading market, but they've made, done very well, they won't understand why the future is dictating the market itself. And that might be one of the biggest risks that they have. Sure. You know? Some of the uh, higher volume uh, equities out here. Let's see. So we got uh, oh Regal Entertainment. That's up a buck ninety. Maybe someone. Yeah, it looks like they're getting bought out by oh, yeah. Center World. Center World's going to buy Regal. Okay, so you got Micron Tech up a buck fifty-five. Uh, Nvidia's up three sixty-five. That's been getting killed. Um, oh, I know. Hey, let's go over to Toll Brothers. Toll Brothers came out with numbers, didn't make their yeah, numbers. Saw. Down ten percent. Uh, so let's see what they got to say. Okay, so first off, let's let's take a look at this. So. And this was approaching its uh, 2007 high, too, because look at this. Oh, okay, that's still not, that's not bad. Okay, 49 bucks. Uh, it was into uh, 40, 51. So your, your high out here from 2005 was 58. Now let's put this on a weekly and see what kind of destruction you got. That's interesting. On a weekly, it doesn't even look like it's getting destroyed. But and quite a run up. Right? <laughs> exactly. On a daily, though, what you have here, there it is. It's going to go, okay, I'm going to get this closer for us. Put this back six months. Because what you're going to see, you're going right back to where it has some support. But this can, <coughs> this can actually run down to 43. Because it's got a high volume spike at 43. Right now you're at uh, 46.27. We take a look at it. Let's see. Let's see what this. Toll Brothers, the biggest uh, luxury home builder, fell the most in nine years after reporting quarterly earnings that missed. Analyst estimates driven by weaker than expected revenue. Net revenue for the three months through October was 191 million, or a dollar 17, compared to at 114 million. A year ago. A year ago. But, yeah, but it, Everything's expectations. Right, just right, right. There it is. Okay, so the average estimate had been $1.19. So they missed by two pennies. Um, but that's probably gets into big money. Uh, the shares dropped 9%. Let's see. And just to put, that's just the average estimate, too. You know, when you have analysts that are looking for probably even higher than that, right? right. Just to put in, yeah. Uh, Toll has been expanding in expensive markets such as New York City that are softening as millenniums. Uh, drive increased demand for entry-level homes, while the company reported revenue for the quarter of 2.03 billion. Uh, it was below the census of 2.09 billion. With fundamentals and sentiments still strong in the housing market, we are inclined to see any weakness as a buying opportunity. That's as another analyst said. Uh, U.S. Uh, purchase of single-family homes unexpectedly rose 6.2 percent in October, the strongest annualized pace in a decade, according to Commerce Department data. Yeah, and just even they started, they mentioned here too, it's just investors are especially jumpy because it's went up so much recently. You know, you go up 15% in the past month, and then you deliver earnings that 
don't even need right. it. That's that's right. a little dicey right. if you're a shareholder for sure. Right. And so let's go over to DHI. So DHI is the oh, Harley Davidson. No. Yeah. <laughs> is only one of the. Look at it's still not getting hit. This is pretty impressive. So DHI, this is where the difference is. So let's see. DHI single buys and construction it's sells entry single, level, right? Is yeah, and entry move level up and move up markets. Yeah. I don't see the Northeast in there, as in the company operates Midwest, Mid-Atlantic, Southeast, Southwest, and West. Yeah. That being, of course, Northeast is one of the wealthier areas in terms of the housing. And, you, it, 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 so you know, Boston, New York, Seattle, you make a mistake in those markets and it's big money. Definitely. Uh, now, and the difference is, this is why I wanted to show this, the difference is that this is overtaken its 2005 highs pretty dramatically. 42.82 is the high. You're at 50.14. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. Dow Industrials right now are down five. Nasdaq's up Today 35. It's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. EverBank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you like it does me, call 1-855-750-4051 to find out what they can do for you. That's 1-855-750-4051. Call them today. EverBank as a member FDIC and equal housing lender. Hi folks, Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFNN and you'll find Market Insights under Trading Newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks! Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high-definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Andy Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow is down 15. NASDAQ is up 29. S&Ps are up 3. And uh, we get some quite a bit of movement. Uh, and I, I guess it has to do with the, the aspect of these uh, high price stocks inside the Dow. But when we look at it, I mean, the, the fluctuation, you know, has been pretty quick inside the Dow. In one second, you're at uh, 297. 24, 297, the next second you're 
280, right? Yeah. We're at a high, almost 70 points above where we're at right now, I think, too. Yeah, so uh, that volatility out here is going to continue, folks. What's uh, the VIX at, as you say that? Maybe. Yeah, so we get over and we take a look at the VIX. You mean single digits at? No, 11. Yeah. The, uh, so we had the high out here today of, what, 11.67, you're 11.05. The nervousness is still out here. Um, we go over and we take a look at the TLT. Um, uh, bottom line, uh, you know, TLT, this, no, this is, the TLT, folks, is the iShare 20 year plus treasury. So inside this, what you have is this, is that, so picture you get treasuries, you know, 30 year treasuries, bottom line when they don't, you know, as long as they're above 20 years, they can be inside this. Um, can you go into the components of it? Because I think they may even list some of the variety. Yeah, of they do. Let's see. Let's see. Holdings number three here. Okay. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, geez, we jumped around here before. That's too bad. These are all funds, I guess. When, but it is all. Yeah. No, those are all treasuries. That's what they are. So, let's see the T. That's the yes. that, that's the expiration dates at the end. That's what those. Okay. Are. There we go. Right. Perfect. Right. Um, and I believe that that is the percentage that they're paying. You know, it's three and an eighth, two and seven eighths, two okay. and a half, okay? Nice. Um, you know, and that's nice. the percentage of, of them inside the fund. Now, the, the thing that you want to wrap your head around is that no matter how many times it, it looks like this, this bond market wants to go up dramatically, there's more buyers than sellers, you know? And we, we haven't broken down yet. Um, just jumping around. Go for it. So if we, we pull this back, okay, so let's see, make sure I get the right one, TLT. So what we have here is that on Friday, you broke all the swing points with volume. So that's saying it's going to get tested. The high out here is 129.59. Now, that's not, that's not the high. That happens to be a high from this consolidation we've been in since, uh, let's see, November of 2016. Basically this whole year. Yeah. yeah. Um, you know, if we go over USH and you take a look at the 30-year, the 30-year also took out the swing point. That's way down there. It's 152.27. It's approaching the 153. And then if we take a look at the actual yields, you know, you're still at low numbers. You know, so it's like, what F before we, before yeah. I was just going to, that blue dot is definitely creeping towards the right, though. You know, well, remember? That's, a, that's in three months, right? If you, yes. No, yeah, no, I hear. Right, right. But most of the time, it's even six months. Right. Remember, we, we were always in the middle. Right. It's, it's a little bit to the right now, but we right. haven't been so far right. That's, in the six-month basis, pretty, you know, you have to go back to a year now to get into the To be the in the middle. middle. Yeah. Right, right. So the... Um, and what we do have, it's the 13th, I believe. Yeah, 12th and 13th, I think, is the meeting yeah. with 13th. There you go. So that's going to bring the short-term rates up once again. And then, of course, everyone's going to be looking at uh, 2018. What's going to happen in 2018? You know, how many times they're going to go up? Um, what is intriguing, folks, is that what, what, what hasn't got a lot of press either, it's out there this morning, but in this tax bill also, right, is that you cannot deduct interest on a second home that okay. is going to kill the second home market sure uh big yeah. you know so it's really it's going to be really intriguing to see what else is inside this bill sure. because that bill there yeah, like cape cod oh right um but there's 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 the some hamptons talk yeah. about the new york real estate oh, market for this sure, right and that's going to hit hit doubly because the mortgage deduction goes down from a million i mean if you to five hundred thousand. But the second home, you can't deduct it at all. Yeah. So that, that's going to be serious business. That's... And then uh, you can't deduct the state taxes. Right. 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 So there's, uh, there's going to be winners and losers out here. Um, the, second, the second home, though, is a big deal. So what will end up happening is that if you have a second home, the only way that you're really going to be able to pull it off is that you're going to have to basically try to rent it out and then if you rent it out, I believe what the rule is you only can use it for two weeks a year, if that's what you do. You know, if you rent it out, bottom line is that uh, you don't use it, then that's a business again. Sure. You know, so 
the, the, the point here is it's all skewed to business. That's, that's, that's what that comes down to, Definitely. too. I mean, in a big way. Um, let's go take a look at, uh, let's go see what the King Dog is doing out here. Amazon. Okay, so Amazon's up 19 bucks right now. Got to a lower low, though. 120, no, 11.24. And 11.05, I see, is the high of this, where that volume is. So I suspect we're going to end up getting down there. Google. Oh, look at this. Did Google finish the gap? 8.987. Oh, look at where it got to. This is pretty cool, folks. So this is... Sure, go for this, it. Yep. This, is, this is dangerous. Now, this is what Google did. The top of the gap is $987.60. We got to 988.27, which is pretty cool. I mean, that's, that's close, right? But I can tell you, I've seen this too many times, that if you don't hit the thing, you know, you're going to get a good bounce going, give it two or three weeks, all of a sudden, you're yeah, right back down there. I mean, isn't it weird that, like, how does that work? <laughs> right? It, right. It, it really is. It's like, okay, you get, you get a big gap that's wide open, right? And was, so picture this. Picture when you were up at the highs at 1,062. When you say to someone that, hey, listen, man, you've got to be careful. When the stocks turn, they like to go for the gap. And it's like, oh, really? We're going to go from a 1,062 down to 987? Why? Sure. Just because there's a gap? Sure. <laughs> but guess what? That's, that's what they like to do. Um, Facebook, we were just talking about Facebook with the, uh, now they're going to get the six-year-olds in there. <laughs> And uh, that rejected lower price. This, this is still in a consolidation. So 169, look at that. See, 169.30. You hit the top of that high volume low bar. So that's, building, that's a building cause to get to the bottom of it. But right now, guess what? The, the top saved it. The, uh, okay, so Netflix, right? Sure. NFLX. I'm just trying to go through yep, the rest of these definitely. fangs out here. Netflix uh, up three bucks. Oh, NVIDIA, that's where we want to go. NVDA and LAM Research. So NVIDIA got to 180 today. It's at 190 now. Look at that, huh? Some volatility in the last couple of days. Huge. Yeah. And uh, we come back, folks, uh, as, as in the break, come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to see our man, Mr. Basil Chapman. He's going to be doing a great workshop uh, this coming Friday. Yeah. Dow Industrials right now are down 27. NASDAQ is up 31. S&Ps are up 2.5. Gold is down 920. Silver is off 25 cents. And King Doll is not even moving higher and is slamming the... Uh... Has the current market volatility continued to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. 
Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to the Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN TFNN, live on your mobile device, 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow Industrials are down 19. You get the NASDAQ uh, up 34. S&Ps are up 3.5. And, and as we go over to our website at TFNN, you're going to see our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, right on the top of the carousel, Master Trader Series, a uh, full day of uh, great education. Uh, markets are going to be opened uh, December 8th, this Friday. That is right. They will, for sure. He'll be there at 9 a.m. till 4.30, 30 minutes before the market, 30 minutes after the market on Friday. Hopefully we get some good action in the market. It seems like we're getting oh, we'll a good get week action. For it, right? <laughs> I know. Um, so Basil's going to be going over kind of everything that he looks at as he begins to, you know, start his trading day. The 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 um, formations he's looking at, of course, higher peaks, lower troughs, notation, the importance of that peak D in the Chapman wave, the indicators and tools he works with, buy and sell modes, sustaining rallies and declines, including the MACD, stochastic, moving averages, on balance volume. And um, he's got everything listed here. It's a great course, and you know you don't na need to be a master trader to begin with. You just need to be into trading. Right. And he's going to walk you through kind of the the whole toolkit that he uses when he's in there. Um, so I encourage people to go check it out. It's five hundred ninety-five dollars. You can use Tiger Dollars if you happen to purchase Tiger Dollars. If you don't, still a great deal. One hundred twenty-eight dollar opening call you get for a month. If you're already a subscriber, that's an immediate savings because you're already paying for that. So that gets taken as in you get um, given a free month. You get a CD book, which Basil's begun mailing out to the students already signed up. And that's an amazing book. I've gone through it. I mean, I forget how many slides is it. How many? It's a lot. You know, yeah. yeah. Um, so I encourage people to check it out. That's Friday. He'll be in there 9 a.m. in that trading room with his students. And, folks, we do want to thank uh, all the folks that uh, purchased the Tiger Dollars uh, I'm sure we'll be sending that check over to them um, yeah. next couple of days, probably. Yeah, exactly. Right? Yeah, so. Our accountant, Natalie, she's going to be... She's in today. Doing the numbers, yeah. exactly. Crunching so. it out, and, and then we'll get it over later in the week. That's always nice. Sweet. Definitely. So check this one out on, on, <laughs> on cryptocurrencies, right? In and the that, world of Bitcoin. Yeah, right. This is... Uh, so Mystery Shroud's Tether, right? Is that it? Yes, Tether, uh, yeah. And it's links to the biggest Bitcoin exchange. Among the many mysteries at the heart of the cryptocurrency market are these. Does 814 million of a digital token known as Tether really exist? And what is Tether's connection to Bitflex? Yeah, Bitfinex. Bitfinex, the world's Bitfinex, biggest the Bitcoin other. exchange. This is the state of crypto in late 2017. And I was just going to say, I think that Bitfinex was one of the four um, exchanges that was listed in either CME or SIBO that's going to be using in their pricing. Yep, this is where it really gets interesting. Watch, if, if we bring it up, I'm going to bring this up on another screen. Right, because it, it has them on, I found this on, when we, where are all my Bloombergs? There you go. Uh, Double click that one. There you go. Because Pull I'll put it here just for a second. Yep. So we can, because when you put this up, let's see, B-I-T, I believe what happens is that they have all four of them listed when I go... Okay, and, to and we're going into the XBT, which we always pull up. Yeah, there it is, yeah. Okay. Oh, interesting. So it's bit stamps. It's not. No. 
There it is. And so I wonder how, yeah. That's, so here are the four exchanges, Bitstamp, Coinbase, yeah. ITBit, and Kraken. Right. Um, so maybe those are the four I was thinking, and they're just in my head. But yeah. we'll dig into that. We'll pull it up maybe during the next break and yeah. see. So, yeah, I was reading it as you were reading it. I mean, that's quite a, a question, number one. Right. Does, does the $814 million exist. really exist? And what's its connection to the world's biggest exchange? So... This is the state of crypto in late 2017, where questions about the companies behind the currencies are multiplying with the profits. While cryptocurrencies appeal to people who lack faith in the governments and banks, the digital assets often require a blind trust in companies about which few facts are available. So this one's, I hadn't even really understood this myself, but so take Tether. It started in 2015, described as a stable alternative to Bitcoin's volatility. Restaurant owner who accepts Bitcoin but fears its volatility could shift Bitcoin into Tether which can be easier to do than exchanging Bitcoin to dollars. So John Jameson's talked about this a bit, and he's brought up Tether. I know, So, right. you know, if you have Bitcoin and you're, you have an exchange and you right. want to get out of Bitcoin, right. it's not easy just to get out of Bitcoin into dollars. Right. You know, that's where you, you can get out of Bitcoin into other cryptocurrencies, which are available. Yeah. One of them being this Tether, which is supposed to mimic a dollar. Right. So it's just interesting that it he's is. talked about this. No, he it uses is. it, I'm sure. Right. Um, so a restaurant owner accepts Bitcoin fears of volatility could shift it into Tether, which can be easier to do than exchanging for dollars. Its price stayed near $1 for most of its life because Tether, the company behind the digital token, says that every Tether is backed by one U.S. dollar held in reserve. We'll that's, see if that is yeah, actual exactly. reality, right? But that's what they say. Since there's 814 million of Tether, there should be 814 million parked in a bank account somewhere. Not everyone believes that there is. And, you know, you shouldn't believe that. Why would you? Is there anything backing this? Um, and so here, this is, this is, so this is Bitcoin, you know, the chart, because Tether stays. But this is where, uh, let's see. Some wonder whether Tether, some wonder whether Tether has helped pump up the price of Bitcoin, which recently surpassed 11,000. Um, Charlie Lee, creator of Litecoin, another big one, the world's seventh largest cryptocurrency, wrote in a November 30th Twitter post, there's a fear going on that the recent price rise was helped by printing Tether that is not backed by U.S. dollars in a bank account. Little public information exists on how Tether is created, fueling questions. Um, a product manager mentioned about, uh, let's see, just fueling questions. The market believes that each Tether is worth a dollar, even if they're not actually backed by that money. And trades for Tether for Bitcoin at Bitfinex are help driving up the price of Bitcoin. So you have Bitfinex putting it out, yep. right? And then you have people trading at Bitfinex driving up the price of Bitcoin because they can park it into Tether. Exactly. Yeah, and this is the crazy part, right? Yep. So Tether's website makes a claim that's unusual among cryptocurrencies. Every Tether is always backed by one-to-one -one by traditional currency held in reserves. The site also says each Tether can be redeemed for a dollar. But, and how does this even make sense? I know. Your it, ter its terms of service say specifically there's no contractual right or other right or legal claim against us to redeem or exchange your tethers for money. We do not guarantee any right of redemption or exchange intense. of tethers by us for money. Um, yep. And that, that, that's all you almost need to hear, right? Because that, that's, that's it. Yeah. Um, on December 2nd, just recently, Bitfinex released a quarterly report announcing it would no longer serve U.S. customers because it's too expensive to do business with them. This followed Wells Fargo's decision early in the year to end its role as a corresponding bank through which customers in the U.S. could send money to Bitfinex and Tether's bank in Taiwan. Um, I know, right? Man, pretty. it, it oh, is the wild, wild west, um, it's, for sure. There's, there's no money there. It's, <laughs> it's, oh, my God. So let's see what they talk about in, in Poland. Polish banks. So... Documents posted online show Bitfinex direct, directing prospective customers to Poland's bank. Jeez, I'm going to pronounce that one. Yeah, good luck. A good one. Spolszelski. I got to call in, some in, of my friends. In, I know. Jeez. Um, the bank's CEO wouldn't confirm any accounts have been opened by Bitfinex clients citing Polish financial law. We're in touch with Polish financial market. Neither Tether nor Bitfinex disclosed on the website. So it's just constant, basically, no information available. Oh, Paradise Papers. How do they come into it? So, Phil Potter, a Tether director, dubbed, um, according to documents in the Paradise Papers that were recently leaked by, let's see, he's also chief strategy officer at Bitfinex, graduate at Yale. Potter worked for Derivatives and Morgan Stanley. There you go, you know, you got real players in here. Just <laughs> almost can't break down. There's so much information in that one article, man. Hey.
Be wary of everything. Yeah. You know, I believe in those cryptocurrencies, but guess what? They're only worth what somebody's willing to pay for them. And they, exactly. You know, exactly. I wouldn't fall to the reserve argument. No, so there's yeah. no reserves. Yeah. But they're, they're telling you that. Pretty much. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I come right back. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of the Trader's Edge, heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has put together the finest programming lineup each trading day, featuring some of the most knowledgeable and respected financial minds in the nation to educate traders and investors. On Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, we broadcast eight hours a day, starting at 9 a.m. as Larry Pesavento kicks us off with Trade What You See. Tuesdays and Thursdays, we broadcast 11 hours. Get an early and healthy start to your day as Nico and Paige bring you Living a Primal Lifestyle. Then catch Andy Hecht at 5 p.m. with the Commodities Hour, following the Tom O'Brien Show. Swim Lessons from TD Ameritrade, Think or Swim, is now at 11 a.m., followed by Basil Chapman at 12 noon. See the TFNN program lineup via the link on the front page of TFNN.com to get a complete overview of our TFNN shows and hosts. And keep TFNN's Tiger TV tuned in on your mobile device, PC, or Mac for the latest financial news and information throughout the broadcasting day. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Learn how to trade options with Swim Lessons. Brought to you by TD Ameritrade. Think or Swim. Next on TFNN. <laughs> Welcome back, folks. And, and, and at the end of that article here, it gets really pretty intriguing, too, because if it, you know, uh, there was a, a company, actually, that's, well, there's a company in Turkey that went from, Turkey had banned PayPal. He stopped using um, yeah, Bitcoin, Bitcoin to pay contractors. Right. And then he was worrying about Bitcoin and he went into Tether and he was trying to cash out a million dollars of Tether and then uh, Tether saying they refused because he wasn't a corporate customer um, and he was actually saying that that would be too big for the, that exchange anyway. Um, yeah, so they, he tried to get it from, to exchange it with Tether. They said we only deal with cor verified corporate customers. They told him, excuse me, to then to try and sell it on one of the exchange partners that right. on its website. More than a dozen names appear, and many don't offer investors a way to exchange Tether for dollars. One that does is Kraken, but that market can't handle a million-dollar Tether trade. Right. So the market never lies, man. The market can't handle it because yeah. it's going to crash to zero. 
Yeah, that means you don't have a market. Right? That means that means anyone will sell you anything. Now <laughs> trying to buy it back. Because think about it. it. If it's an actual dollar, right, right, then yeah, the market might fluctuate just for cash cost to okay, ninety eight cents on the dollar. Right. You know, when there's right. like somebody wants to sell sure. a million, okay, well we'll give you like ninety seven cents because we know it's worth a dollar. Right. Big money's out there in terms of like sure. J.P. Morgan, whatever, if that yeah. was an arbitrage opportunity where they said, listen, this tether stuff is worth a dollar, right. it's just not liquid enough, let's go in and buy any of it we can for 95 cents or right. 90. Right. But no, it's going to crash to zero. Yeah, exactly. So that means it's definitely not worth it. You know, that's right. all you need to know. Right. Pretty crazy. Amazing. Okay. Stay right there, folks. Uh, we get our man, uh, well, we get the Thinker Swim coming up next, and our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, uh, Steve Rhodes, Dave White. I'll be back this afternoon. I'm man, Mr. Andy Heck. Have a great one. Have a safe one. Thanks, pal. Thanks, man. <laughs> Go get them, folks. Basil Chapman will be hosting a full-day Master Trader class Friday, December 8th from 9 a.m. until 4.30 p.m. This live seven-and-a-half-hour online class will teach you the complete concepts of Basil's Chapman Wave trading methodology along with a variety of indicators and charting patterns that Basil uses on a daily basis, including the concept of higher peaks and lower troughs, the importance of the peak D, buy and sell modes, sustaining rallies and declines, MACD, stochastic, moving averages, on balance volume, and much more. Everyone that attends will also receive Basil's CD book introducing the Chapman Wave methodology, a $249 value, along with one month of his daily trading newsletter, The Opening Call, a $128 value. Basil will be using live charts where and when possible in the webinar to show the concepts of his trading methodology, which works on all time frames. For all the details and to reserve your spot today, visit the front page of TFNN.com.